Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sapan and I'm back with a new video. So in today's video, I'll be talking about everything that you need to know about an advanced diploma. So without any further ado, let's get right onto the video. So to begin with, what is an advanced diploma? Now, as the name suggests, it is an advanced diploma. Now a diploma is two years. So advanced means it's something more, right? So it's three years. In an advanced diploma, you will be required to complete six semesters. Now in Canada, each semester is four months long, not six months. So you might be thinking that since it's four months, it will be two years because six semesters, four months, two years. Well, that's somewhat true, but it is not 100% true. The reason being two semesters is called as one academic year and an advanced diploma is three academic years, meaning that you will be studying for two calendar years if you do not decide to take any drops, but that will be considered as three academic years. Now, many people tend to confuse advanced diploma with an undergrad degree. Now, I was one of those. When I was in India, I thought that an advanced diploma was an undergraduate degree. But the truth is, it is not. It is completely not. Just no. An advanced diploma is one step below the undergrad degree. With that said, which kind of educational institutions provide an advanced diploma? It's usually colleges that provide you with this particular credential. Just because it's an advanced diploma does not necessarily mean that it's not good or does not necessarily mean that it's bad. It's at the end of the day, it's you who is getting that credential. It's you who is getting that knowledge out of that particular program. So it is your responsibility to understand and to know how to utilize that particular advanced diploma. Moving on to the next question, what kind of advanced diplomas are out there in the market? There are n number of advanced diplomas out there, meaning that if you can find a program with which has a diploma program, it is very likely that that same program will have an advanced diploma credential as well. For instance, I just went on to Humber College's website and, you know, sorted out the credentials and just listed a couple or a few advanced diplomas here in my book. So they are business, architecture, animation, engineering, game programming, journalism, and many more. I was able to find so many advanced diplomas at just Humber College. If you are someone who is concerned about not having a good program for your uh, field, then all you need to do is do more research because it is very likely that, 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 that there will be an advanced diploma for your field. Now, here's an important question that most people ask. What about the fees, bro? We don't have unlimited money. Nobody has. So let's talk about the fees for advanced diploma and try to compare it and contrast it with a diploma and an undergrad degree. Talking about fees, it is important to know that an advanced diploma is advanced. So the fees is also advanced. Uh, you will be expected to pay for two more semesters as compared to a diploma. So let's say if you're paying $8,000 for a diploma for per semester, that will be $32,000. But at the same time, if you are required to pay for six semesters, that will be $48,000, meaning you are paying $16,000 more for studying one more academic year or studying two more semesters. Now, if you're someone who is not planning on taking any semester drops, then it can be very challenging for you to pay for an advanced diploma unless you are getting either getting a loan or you have someone to support you for your education. But when you compare this with an undergrad degree, it is cheaper because most undergrad degrees are eight semesters, meaning four academic years. So of course you have to pay a little bit, not a little, not a little bit, but considerably more as compared to a diploma or an advanced diploma. Okay, Tapan, I can pay money. I got money. I understand what an advanced diploma is, but can I get admission? So what are the admission requirements for an advanced diploma? Well, the admission requirements for an advanced diploma are more or less similar to that of a diploma. So for instance, let's say if you want to do an advanced diploma in business administration from Humber College, just because it's a really popular program, right? Your admission requirements would be number one, you need either IELTS or Duolingo or whatever the English requirements. On top of that, they will also consider your grade 12 marks, which is like your final board exams. If you're from India or if you're from some other country, your final grade, your final percentage for your grade 12. 70% is usually the minimum requirement. 
but it really depends from program to program. Some programs have a higher cutoff score. Some programs have a lower cutoff score. But for business administration, last time I checked, it was 70%. Just, uh, yeah, just make sure to recheck it, okay? Now, let's say if you've already graduated from a college or, or you already possess an undergrad degree or you already uh, have a diploma from your country, can you qualify for an advanced diploma? Yes, you can. Uh, in most cases, you can qualify 10 plus 3, which is grade 10 plus your diploma three years. Uh, or if you have an undergrad degree. Now, there are rules regarding this as well. So the requirements are more like, let's say uh, you, can, you can have five backlog attempts or six backlog attempts or two backlog attempts. If you exceed that, there can be issues. Now, apart from these requirements, there are additional requirements for certain programs. For instance, I had to take math and English placement test. Now, I didn't know what a placement test was. So basically, I won't go a lot into detail about placement tests and what they are. I'll make another video for that. But to put it in short, what a placement test basically is, is that it judges your level of math and English and puts you in an, uh, in an appropriate class. That's basically it. For me, I took it online from India. Uh, most some people also come to Canada to take it. But I was like, you know, let's get over with it, Humber. Okay, Tapan, I understand what an advanced diploma is. I can pay the fees. I am meeting the eligibility requirements. But after I'm done graduating with an advanced diploma, then what? Once you have graduated from an advanced diploma, what can you do next? Number one, either you can go and try to get a job in the market, try to get your permanent residency, or you can transfer your credits from an advanced diploma program into an undergrad degree or undergraduate degree program. Now, assuming that both the programs have similar courses in them. So let's say if I'm transferring my uh, credits from for the advanced diploma in business administration to culinary for example culinary degree I won't be able to transfer credits why because the courses are different I can transfer any minimum credits but let's say if I'm transferring it to um, some business or bus bachelor's of commerce degree courses in both the programs will be very similar so I can transfer my credits and reduce the number of uh, semesters I need to study for my undergrad degree okay Tapan you talked about getting PR is it going to help me to get a PR yes it will help you to get PR. And the reason being, advanced diploma program gets more points than a diploma program. Right now, I have one year of work experience, advanced diploma, highest score in IELTS. I'm 21. You can score 474 points with that, with my profile. I have 474 points. Assuming the same IELTS score, if I gain one additional year of work experience, I will get 499 points. No LMIA. No, no, nothing. No PNP, nothing. 499 points. It's pretty good. Not gonna lie. It was 474. Even 474 is a good score. The, what IRCC is doing is not good. But the main question is, can I even get a job for my PR? That depends on you and you alone. No college, no university, no influencer, no YouTuber, no, no, nobody. Nobody will guarantee you a job after completing an advanced diploma or a bachelor's degree or like anything it, it doesn't matter if you want a job you will have to go out there you will have to make a network you will have to talk to people you will have to make sure that you know people who are working in the industry or at least at the company that you want the job in nobody is going to come to you and be like oh please come take a job no there are thousands of people out there unless your program is is very difficult to difficult one to graduate from and there's a very high demand nursing for example it has a very high demand right now so you can get a job easily after doing nursing but what about business no it's a very competitive industry it's a cutthroat industry so make network use your advanced diploma learn how to use it just by getting that piece of paper you are not gonna get anything my advanced diploma is in my cupboard under my files listen to me every single job that i got i just told them that i have an advanced diploma they didn't ask to see it okay now i'm not saying that you should lie use those skills use that knowledge just don't study in your advanced diploma program to just get uh, you know get good grades or just pass no if you are attending a college you aren't supposed to just learn to pass because that makes you just like everyone else learn to use the things that you will be learning in your college i still have my finance corporate finance book why do i have it why do i have the textbook right now still my corporate finance textbook why do i have it right now i use it not for my job but 
for my professional, my investing stuff, I use the discounted cash flow stuff from this. I, I analyze companies. It has stuff in it. Nobody's going to guarantee you a job. I will not definitely. I cannot guarantee you a job by doing if you I cannot tell you that you will get you will get a job no matter what after doing an advanced diploma. Overall, if you can pay the college tuition, if you have time on hand, I see no reason why you should not be going for an advanced diploma. Again, this varies from case to case. But if this video helped you even the slightest bit, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take it easy. Jai Hind.